man. What's up with y'all, man? It's King South. And right now you're tuned in with Emma Brown. We're up next and more, man. And get what? I'm up next with your bald head, PFE smelling man. I promise, baby. Oh, yeah. Baby, I promise. Baby, I promise, baby. I'll never leave your side. I keep you satisfied. Baby, I promise. Baby, I promise, baby. Oh, yeah. I'll never leave your side. I keep you satisfied. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Up Next and More with Amber Brown. And right now, you already know I got my boy. King South in the building. Come on, baby. You already know what it is. A legend. <clears throat> I appreciate that. <laughs> so tell me, where are you originally from from those who don't know you? For those who don't know you. From Montgomery, Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Born and raised in Montgomery, Alabama. I grew up in Ridge Crest. Shout out to the Chris side, man. 123 County Drive. Um, I grew up with my mommy and my dad in the household. You know what I'm saying? I just chose take another route with the gangster stuff, you know what I'm saying? But um, I moved to Southland when I was like 12, 13 years old, and I was born in Southland. I was born in Ridge Ridge, I was raised in Southland. Yeah. Okay, and what was it like growing up in Southland? Tell me like a typical day in the hood. Typical day in the hood. <clears throat> well, you know what I'm saying? You got people out here smoke crack, you got people out here smoke weed, you know what I'm saying? You got people out here to do drugs, you got people out here to go to work and have, you know what I'm saying, nice life and stuff like that. So it's a mixture of a a sweet and sour, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, and so this is we're at your elementary school. Right, right. right. It's the elementary yeah, yeah. and it's called Southland. Southland Elementary is it right here. Yeah. Okay, so I know this may be a crazy question, but where did the name originate from? Southland? Mm -hmm. I had the slightest idea, you know what I'm saying? I don't your know. name, oh, King my, South. Okay, King South King South comes from my real name, you know what I'm saying? South is just a uh, a little slash of my real name. My real name is Southern. S O U T H E R N. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. That's my real name. Okay. I'm the third, actually. You know what I'm saying? Uh, my grandmother and uh, grandfather, uh, well, it used to be a store in the country called Southern Groceries. And uh, my grandma used to go there and get her cucumbers, uh, whatever, you know what I'm saying? A little grocery and stuff. And my granddad used to see her, help her take her stuff to the car and then start flirting with her. Eventually, he took her out on a date. He went from taking out on a date to get married to her. You know what I'm saying? Get married and having a child. And name the child at the first place they were committed at the Southern Grocery Store. You know okay. what I'm saying? So got passed on down from the Southern Grocery Store. That's what's up. All right, so um, tell me, when did you discover that you could sing? Well, I really didn't know I, I knew how to sing. Uh, my mom, that's something my mom knew, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I guess me just being around the house playing, putting posters up in my room, she probably heard me and us singing. You know what I'm saying, or something like that. And she bought me a radio when I was real young. And she bought me Al B. Shaw, Keith Sweat, and uh, Cool Mo D. CD. I, I mean, I ain't, I wouldn't. But I used to listen to the uh, Keith Sweat and Al B. Shaw a lot. And um, I guess she took me to church one day on a Sunday, on a Saturday, and she told the, uh, the lead choir um, later on, um, let me lead a song for choir, and I had to learn the song. And um, the rest, I guess, you know what I'm saying, that's the side. I started feeling myself. I wasn't feeling myself with singing for a long time. You know really? Yeah. Okay, and so like, was it a song that you wrote, you know, when you really start discovering your talent? Like, do you yeah. remember yeah. the name of the song? Yeah. Okay. The song that made me just really feel like, okay, I'm doing something. It's, I think when I did Stack of Ones, you know what I'm saying? Because okay. uh, I used to sing and stuff, but I didn't know how, how, how my range could go. Mm -hmm. So when I was able to hit certain ranges and stuff with songs, I was like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like. I, I pushed myself and I tried something I didn't know I could do, so that led me to saying I could do anything with my voice and stuff like that. And with the stack of ones, just made me feel like hey, I need to just go and freak my voice on now, just go and show them something. So. Oh, yeah, that's that's the banger right there. Like, I'm telling y'all, this is no lie. Y'all know I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Hot 107.9 in Atlanta, y'all know when I when I tell you about an artist that gonna blow. She ain't lying. He should have been took off a long time ago, but you know, God <clears throat> out there doing everything, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But it's not one song. That I heard of his, that, that's not a banger. Period. Point blank. Period. And that's just, that's just what it is. I appreciate it. <laughs> I know people always tell me they always say, um, I should have been blow, but I really don't feel like I supposed to be. Yeah. Blow. I don't feel like I should. You know what I'm saying? God got I away. should have because right. I wasn't um mentally prepared, mm -hmm. uh, emotionally. You know what I'm saying? Like 
I was a little hot headed at the time and stuff. And there was certain things in my life that people couldn't have been able to tell me at that time. Leave, leaving home at like 16 years old, daddy kicking me out of the house. There's a lot of stuff that I didn't get a chance to get going into a manhood and um, get taught by a man. So I was angry about certain things and nobody couldn't tell me nothing. So I feel like if God would have blessed me with a record deal or something at the time when I was doing all the songs like that, I still would probably be in the same position I am now. Right, you know what I'm right. Because I wasn't ready for it mentally, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I had, and I had people around me who didn't want to see me grow and blossom and stuff like that. So God wanted to weave all the things out of my life that wasn't meant for me and wasn't don't deserve the, the blessing that he's about to receive me. So exactly. he had to take me through certain things. Even if it had to hurt me, if it had to embarrass me, humiliate me, whatever it's going to take, get these people out around you and get what he got to give me. You know what I'm saying? Amen. You better stay there. Okay, so um, tell me, what would you say to anyone who's looking to be in your shoes? They want to be the next blues singer, um, the king <clears> of <throat> twerking, you know, because you got the twerk music on deck, on. period. Well, I, first thing I got to tell them, put on some socks, you know what I'm saying? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> if you all just stay dedicated, man, you know what I'm saying? And uh, don't never sit back. Whoa was one of my problems was waiting around thinking like since I got so much talent that somebody's going to help me. Mm -hmm. Like just being so cocky like man, somebody's going to help me. I'm too talented man. Somebody, somebody, somebody going to come along and want to put some money behind me. But it ain't going to happen, you know what I'm saying? So my advice to tell somebody to um, get yourself going and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And don't give up on yourself and don't look around and wait for somebody to uh, help you because it might not never happen, you know what I'm saying? And you'll miss out on a lot of time. A lot of energy and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And it'll take you, it'll take away from a lot of stuff you're just trying to look for out of prison. So don't sit around and wait for nobody to help you pursue your dream because it's your dream, it's not theirs. You know what I'm saying? You only have one body. You know what I'm saying? So just follow your heart and don't. And somebody tell you don't do it, just do it anyway. Cause you know what I'm exactly. saying? They might not be able to do it, but yeah. you might be able to do it. You know what I'm saying? So just stay focused. And strive, man. You know what I'm saying? Just, just strive, man. Just strive. Don't never let nobody say you can't do it. That's all I can tell you. And I got to ask you, because you know we in Montgomery. You one of the, <clears throat> the the last living legends to be standing on on, on this turf right now. Um, how was it like working with with the boy Dobie? Man, Dobie was like a little brother to me, a little big brother to me. Um, rest in peace, to him, man. Yes. Um, Dobie was amazing talent, man, you know what I'm saying? He was one of the um, ones that I've seen, like, really, that can go in the studio, really, and um, not use a piece of paper. Exactly. And, you know what I'm saying? And just cut the mic on, cut the beat on, you go and go in there and give you the hardest 12 bars you you don't heard out of a person, you know what I'm saying? So Dobie was, like, he was very rare, special. That's why God wanted him, you know what I'm saying? He was too special for this world, you know what I'm saying? God wanted him to rap in heaven. And the lyric was so hard, God said, man, you don't, <laughs> come on come up on here up with here, me, yeah. man, you know what I'm saying? Because he too hard down there. And the world didn't deserve him, man, you know what I'm saying? He too sweet as a teddy bear, man, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Was. I just feel like he wasn't protected, right, you know what I'm saying, for situations and stuff like that. Uh, he just didn't understand how big he was as a yeah. person at the time, you know what I'm saying? And um, <clears throat> Going and doing something he shouldn't have been doing at the time, and, um, God bless him, though, you know what I'm saying? He gone, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, this is the reason why Dobie is a person that my mama, I want to, you know, my mama Dobie, he is in that in that thing to give me that strength, you know what I'm saying? To keep going, you know what I'm saying? Because I had a dream about Dobie when I was locked up. I actually had two dreams about it. One, I was um, at a beat, uh, at a party, had a little volleyball net, and um, I had just got a new car, you know what I'm saying? I was showing it to the door and stuff. We was looking at it. It was candy apple red with some alloy uh, offsets on it, man. And we was looking at it. It was like an old school Thunderbird. I was showing the door. He was looking at me and stuff. And um, girls were playing volleyball and stuff. And um, while we was looking at the folks playing volleyball, those started walking in that direction. And he turned around and threw the football to me. And I caught it. When I caught the ball, he just disappeared. You know what I'm saying? So, what did that tell you? It's I your took, time, Yeah, right? you know what I'm saying? So, I never, you know. So my I wanna open you up. Pass the ball. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, man. So I ain't gonna never drop that ball for though. I ain't gonna drop That's that ball for up. my mama. You know yes, what I'm saying? So yes. I just wanna open up Breast Cancer Foundation for my mama, rebuild a church, you know what I'm saying? Do something big for Dobie's family, you know what I'm saying? Make, I'm gonna I'm 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 do a Dobie challenge, you know what I'm saying, every year, you know what I'm saying? Make sure his kids got what they need, you know what I'm saying? I know T.I. said he promised a house on the song and stuff like that. And you know, we ain't gonna hold up to T.I. to do all the things that yeah. Dobie want to do for his mama. So I wanna be able to have enough money out of this stuff so I can make sure Dobie mama got what he wanted his mama to have and make sure I open up that Breast Cancer Foundation for my mom. 
uh, rebuild a church. Put the YFCA's up in places like South London and stuff like that. In all the neighborhoods where they got high crime rate and stuff like that. I just want to be inspiration on that kind of level, you know what I'm saying, with these things. So that's what I fight for for my girl, you know what I'm saying? I'm like Martin Luther King of this thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With a Malcolm X mentality, you feel me? Right. And so, <clears throat> you got into blues. True. I promise, baby, oh yeah. Okay, now. Yeah. Okay, so how did you get into blues? Man, you know, uh... I always, you know what I'm saying, I think everybody, I think all rappers are uh, somebody that's just black that's just listening to music got some kind of blues in them, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. so, and me being a person I am, I always try to just just challenge myself to see if I can do something that somebody just said I can't do it, I ain't gonna sound right or something, you know, <clears throat> so when I was in jail, I was trying to just come up with some stuff, you know what I'm saying, just be different and stuff, and I, and I, I was, I tried to let my baby mama hear, but she wouldn't give me the feedback, so I just got out there. So when I got out, I did the love on Molly. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, this could have been a bigger song, but it was about a drug. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So got people in the corporate world and stuff like that who can't play that around their friends about drugs and all that kind of stuff. So I said, you know what I'm saying? I got the attention, but I need to grab it a little bit more. Hey, you know what I'm okay. saying? So, okay. And I know my son, Lucien, he's 18 now. You know what I'm saying? Like I heard him. I heard him yeah, rapping. Yeah, man. So okay. I want to let my son have the lane that I had, and I want to make sure I have a big situation opportunity to him to be bigger than I was at the age he was. So when I do blues and all that kind of stuff like that, I know I can make the money from that and generate it back into something that can help him be bigger than what he needs to be. So I like the little blues thing. I heard a song one day, it was like OJ's song, she used to be my girl. So I just listened to the little riff stuff and stuff. I was like, choo -choo. Okay. Why you do me like this, baby? Why you okay, okay, okay. I said, man, I'm gonna do some blues. Cut the beat on, we made the beat. I went in there and did it. As soon as I did, the radio station just grabbed us. Put on the radio station like the same day. So I was like, damn. Everybody started, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So after that, I came with the I Promise song. And um, when I did I Promise, it got like 30,000 uh, 30, um, views on, um, on Facebook. When I was just playing the song. And I went to the hospital, and the girl was in the hospital. And the boyfriend wanted her, uh, me to sing it to her. And it went 30,000 again. So I was like, man, this song, it's big, you know what I'm saying? So I did and it got on the radio and stuff and all the shows I be doing and stuff, it's like the women just love that song and Yeah, you definitely you definitely the ladies man because you showed out for my mom's birthday. Hey, I was like, okay, King, okay. Come on, come on now. <laughs> so question, are you looking to be signed to anyone? Or are you doing this thing independent? What uh, you, what you got going on? You know, I love being independent, you know what I'm saying? I, I, don't, I don't mind being signed to a label as long as it makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know, um, I turned out a lot of record deals over the years, you know what I'm saying? Um, because I feel like just because we're from Alabama, they don't want to give us what, uh, what, what we work. But I don't mind us not getting what we work, but just get us what we negotiate, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, where it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, where it makes sense, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like the work I put in over the years, the hits I put in and stuff, uh, speak for itself you know mm -hmm. i'm a household yeah. name in alabama and um we just like we untapped with talent that will battle the world you know what i'm saying if they gave us our shot so i feel like if i got signed to a label i got a big uh um, position people like jacques or whoever Ty, tyrell or whoever who was uh tyrese tyrese no nah, uh, i thought tyrese just anybody no, nah, not genuine. Yeah. Just all Trey songs, them, just all the good things. Well, about all the women just crazy about right now. Yeah, they'll be in trouble. You yeah. know what I'm saying? With me stepping in that lane, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna take all the attention. You, you are gonna like, take all the attention. I'm Let's go ahead and speak that into existence. So get ready. Yeah, y'all get ready and just if if, if y'all just turn y'all page, y'all see King South on that TV screen and you hear me on the radio, man. Just know, take your big. Deep breath and swallow, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause it might be your last time. You know, I ain't gonna play. I'm coming, I'm coming to take over. Cause y'all ain't never seen nothing like me. And the reason why I wanna do the blues and like that in the R and B because, you know, when Kurt Frank came with the uh gospel, you know, ever watch or Grammys, B C was gospel folks was never seen. Like if they won award, it never was shown. Right. So Kurt Franklin came along and he was acting a fool on stage, so when they held they said gospel, they had to shine that light over there to him and put that camera on every time. So I want to do the same thing with the Southern Soul and Blues, so, you know what I'm saying, every time they say something about that, they got to put them on TV, they got to recognize them. I want to just be able to bring Blues to the front like R&B is, you know what I'm saying, and right. Southern Soul and let them see that, so when they get BT Awards and the Grammys and all that, 
they can shine a light on them so they can't just go to the commercial and say they won an award. They got to show them when they win an award. You know what I'm saying? I want to be a person to bring that to them. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Okay, so is there anything else that you got to say? Yeah, to um, the yeah, man. I want y'all to pray for let me. Them know, let them know where to find your music. Oh, yeah. Well, y'all want to find my music at, man. Y'all go on iTunes. Y'all can go to Spotify. Y'all go to any social site. You know what I'm saying? Just type me in King South and y'all will find me. You know what I'm saying? I promise you that. I just dropped a new blue CD. It's called Jackpot. My first blues album. Yeah, man, it's when real it's lit. Mm -hmm. I just want y'all to know, you know what I'm saying? Keep me in y'all prayers. Pray for me, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's get me out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep me in your prayer, man. Let's take King let's South. Let's bring it back time, together. You know yeah, you man. You got any up and coming shows that these people can catch? Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, tomorrow I will be uh in Birmingham first, I'm going to Birmingham for a little shot house thing down there. Then I'm coming back and be a club to rock tomorrow night. <clears throat> I'll be butterfly. I'm putting up in a helicopter, man. You know what I'm saying? We ain't playing with him tomorrow, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm jumping out of the helicopter, man. We fly out in on L, you know, so shit. Let them you know your social media, too. On my social media, uh, y'all can find me um, on Facebook at Milton Lusain, M I L T O N L A U S A N E. Milton Lusain. Uh, my regular, uh, uh, my fan page is King South, P I N G S O U T H. You want to find me on Instagram? You can hit me at Southern Lusain, S O U T H E R N L A U S A N E. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and this is basically um, you can find me at on social media. And if you want to come to the hood, if I'm coming to the top you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's where I'm at. In the hood every day, I ridge crib. I'm in the studio with your ball head, TV. And this wraps up another up next one with the girl, Amber Brown. You already know I got my boy. This is the legend. But I hit the jackpot when I seen her